sitting out of the order. It's your boy, YG, and we are on NBA 2K24. And man, we've been getting a lot of build videos. And you know what? I decided to go ahead and throw my bid in for a build and as you guys know and some of you may not know you probably just clicked on this video because it was a build video and you're interested in looking at bigs so usually i go ahead and make what i like to call the most dominant inside or the most dominant center build on nba 2k and i'm taking a look at a few options for you guys just because i know you guys are itching for the game to come out man it's september the 4th which means we got four days until the game comes out technically three days if you stay up all night thursday and wait for the release at midnight so uh, uh again i'm just showing you guys some options i'm not going to really say too much i'm not going to really say it's a dominant the most dominant because honestly we gotta go out and play and see but as you can see i am going to test out this 99 strength there has been speculations and and words have been passed around that has been saying if you got 99 anything it will show out there on the court so i'm interested to see if this 99 strength is really going to hold up if 99 strength is really going to matter especially for bigs uh you know what i'm saying bulldozer bagging people down things of that nature uh I, I i would say i wouldn't want to have less than 90 strength if you are a big now it does depend on if you're playing park and rec you know which one are you playing you got to really decide which one are you playing and if you're going to need 99 strength now i know a lot of you guys want to shoot the ball and i'm not going to hold you 65 three-pointer might surprise you okay <laughs> it might surprise you and again the thing that has been going out with this builder consistently with uh people who went to the community day is that if you have you know what i'm saying if you're really good at one thing it's going to be tough for you to be good and great at other things so you really have to choose if you're going to be average all around or if you're going to be really great at two things so you really have to pick your poison this year um something i've been thinking in my head while i was editing this video is usually in the builders you know what i'm saying we was playing checkers now you got to play chess so right now i'm showing you guys with this 99 strength the badges that you get most of them are on hall of fame and a few of them are on gold i'm pausing taking a screenshot so you can see box out beast brick wall bulldozer and immovable force is what you get at 99 strength and then of course you got post lockdown on gold so with this build this is what i made you guys see it to your left we got 92 standing dunk 67 three remember 67 three and we got shades of who is this uh what marcus canby walker kessler and Giannis valanchunas so this should be interesting i'm gonna give you guys just a little glimpse of what this player can do now when we were in the builder the badges were on bronze they were not on gold and as you see west west blocked me on the first one but i got the board and put it right back up and now we're about to see what this 65 three-pointer could do you know i set that screen and of course they leave us open they giving us space bang right that jump shot was slow so you know we gotta find quicker jump shots i don't know what's gonna be out there but again right here like i'm trying to see what this 99 strength is gonna do and look at my stamina bar just leaking bro and that's just running down the court and backing somebody down bro backing somebody down and then just running around and now now this what i don't understand we got a seven foot seven foot player right on shy glizzy seven foot player right here i'm cold now we get to see this 99 string really come to play but that man stood straight up and down and contested me under the rim i don't like that bro i feel like if i'm seven foot and i'm going up against six five and shorter that should be mouse in the house that should be easy easy buckets right and at this point got a little frustrated had to come back out make some adjustments because i didn't like what i was seeing man post control is only on 39 right so maybe backing down somebody without post control is going to be an issue this year i'm not sure but 92 standard dunk should be more than enough and right now i'm adjusting the shooting now i i'm not i'm not an advocate of having a low free throw because bigs you're going to get fouled right so you, your team needs to be able to rely on you but if you're playing part you probably might want to go with the seven footer i got a six foot 11 power for it and you probably could get away with six foot nine six foot ten at the power forward position as well 66 speed 90 stamina that stamina was draining you hear me running up and down that court this is for all my rec and comp pro-am players bro 
running up and down that court and then trying to come back somebody down bleeding you hear me i'm blinking i need help call the amber lamb but like i said we made some tweaks just wanted to get to that 99 overall 65 free throw should be okay if you know your free throw we kept this strength on 99 like i said we tweaked some things go back pause the video see what i tweak now we got marcus canby walker kessler and yusuf nurchik right so let's see what we can do right here and look getting a block right away great defense right there time is running down on that shot clock i'm getting the board the vertical i don't know man vertical was an issue for 23 i ain't gonna hold you but hey <laughs> but look what we doing under that rim and like i said if, if he's six five and under i should be murdering him under that rim every time right here running playing defense getting the block right now we got another undersized player Back that man out of bounds. And oh, and we getting freaky on the rim. Hold on. But this defensive anchor build, I, I feel like this this is kind of what you might need if you are running wreck. 60 speed, 56 acceleration. I don't know about that. We're going to try to work on that when the game officially drops. And like I said, man, we playing chess this year, not checkers. Now, for my six foot 11 people, people who want to play part, right? I had to see what was going on with the power force. Like I said, probably can drop this down to 6'10", 6'9", get away with some something amazing, right? We got our standing dunk on 90. Again, if you only plan on playing part, you don't really need free throw. So excuse the free throw. I usually put the free throw on because I run a lot of wreck. I'm going to pause the screen so you guys can see what we got. The vertical is at 85. You know what I mean? So if we if we bank it on the vertical being like it was in 23, you're gonna need that to sky for them blocks. We got Derek Coleman, Jerry Jackson Jr., and Al Porford as our shades of. And right here, look at my stamina, bro. But the mid-range, our post players, I hate to say this for all my bigs, but looks like post playing is back. It's gonna be a long year for us uh, if we guard that. If we guard that post, so if you're playing rec, if you're playing comp pro am, make sure you got post locked down on the highest that you can get it at because it's gonna be another one of those years, man. Uh, Mini magician is a problem this year. The mid range is a problem, and we got the mid range on 79, three point on 76. So honestly, if you move, remove free throw from our park people. You probably could get something more um free throw ain't really free it, it's still free but right now we got real protector carl anthony and evan mobley i believe are the only shades that really changed from the last one and look at the block great timing on the block and now we are pump faking from the three-point line evan mobley look at look at did you see the shot meter bro what did you see it it's crazy bro post moves are back and look at this trash but again did you see the meter now again this might be on rookie or pro so take this with a grain of salt but i'm just letting you know post moves are going to be a problem the mid range is going to be a problem again wasn't even no green meter there i don't know how that was green but it is what it is so honestly power forward position is going to be the best for all of my people who like to play park, theater, stage, all of that probably can get away with 6'10", 6'9". And again, you can be average at a lot of things. Like, look at my bars, bro. I'm I'm not really bad at anything, right? So make sure you guys take the time, work with this builder. Uh, I don't know how strict it's going to be when the game actually drops. So you guys got to make sure that you take your time with it. Don't be rushing through builds. Don't. And honestly, I hate to say this, but don't try to copy your favorite YouTubers build either. Take his numbers and then manipulate it to what you want it to be. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. If you did, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you are new to the channel and you want to see some more NBA 2K24 content just like this. And I got you guys. But until the next one, man, peace. Going through life alone is hard. Asking for help that you need is even harder. LeBarrett was doing both. And even though he had all the resources at his fingertips, he turned them all away. It was only a matter of time before all of his feelings came out. Hopefully.